Hi, my name is Joakim Ui and I'm the Talent Acquisition Business Partner for Avato Systems Malaysia. What is Avato Systems? Avato Systems is a leading international service provider that lives and breathes digital technology and is being headquartered in Germany. So Malaysia serves as one of the key resourcing hubs uh, for Avato's HQ. I would say that Avato Systems is a very caring and warm company. While work is important, they put similar emphasis on our mental health by walking the talk when it comes to work-life balance. Besides, the generosity of this company can be clearly seen when it comes to investing and growing their talents through various training and development programs. And it's truly amazing to see there are so many of uh, interest groups being established to run fun staffs and uh, not forgetting giving back to the society in the form of CSR. As our nature of business is skewed towards the technology area, Avato Systems offers dual career track options between one, the leadership path, and second one, the technical expertise path. For example, a fresh graduate may be joining us as an analyst or associate level, and then they slowly move up the path to become a consultant, and then a senior consultant, and through constant communication and check-ins with them, and uh, we slowly will find out whether or not do they want to move on into a people management path whereby they will then take on the path of a team leader role and slowly move to become a manager and a senior manager. So besides this career parting as well, there are also plenty of support coming from the management team to invest in many, many programs uh, to really fit uh, best into the employee's interests. So besides this as well, we have also other learning tracks such as bootcamp programs, uh, exchange initiative programs, uh, MOOC subscriptions, you know, massive open online courses like Udacity for subjects around cloud, data, artificial intelligence. And I think other than this, uh, we even organize frequent brown bag sessions where it's more informative sharing coming from a single subject matter expert in within a company on certain topics. And it's usually being carried out during lunch hours so that people can munch away their lunch and also just uh, get something uh, value added for them. Personally, being a coffee lover like myself, I would say it's definitely the state-of-the-art barista-level coffee machine where employees are free to make their own cup of coffee early in the morning when they reach the office. Um, you know, what's really interesting here is that you can yourself jump into the whole process of grinding the beans um, up till latte art making. Yes, milk is being sponsored. So definitely a big boost to pump up my energy before I kickstart my day. I would say it's the culture of trust that plays an important emphasis on the work outcome rather than the number of hours spent, uh, be it at the office or at home. This high degree of trust can be clearly seen throughout the whole company. Naturally, we believe that when trust is built, employees generally feel empowered to manage their own tasks as the ownership will eventually be there. And also on a yearly basis as well, we run an employee survey at a group level where never, you know, there are any areas to improve on. The management team will take those feedback uh, very seriously, very openly as well, and start looking at making and driving those positive changes. Uh, I'll probably split into three categories as a whole, right? People, processes, and tools. I'll start with tools first. In terms of tools, I believe we have allowed employees to take back an extra monitor screen for them to continue to do great work so that they don't feel any difference, be it uh, at home or at the office, right? So that's one. And as for processes, you know, we have shifted to e-signature practice uh, for documentations and for administrative paperwork. So last but not least, on the point of people, I have a lot to say about this. How do we make our staffs feel that we care for them, uh, for their safety and for their well-being? Uh, how do we make our people feel that they continuously engage with the business and also among themselves? So plenty of ideas came about and among some of the things that we did for the team was sending care packages that includes a, a very high premium quality face masks, vitamin C's, uh, fruit packages, uh, celebrating Parents' Day. And, uh, you know, apart from this as well, we also kind of like look into organizing Tuesday yoga where at six o'clock every Tuesday, people can just gather together. You know, they can just at least, you know, exercise and, you know, get themselves to be a bit more healthy. Um, and also, I think apart from this as well, we also run, you know, plenty of uh, training programs virtually. And one of the most exciting announcement this year alone itself uh, that we've announced is to really look into building a strong coaching culture internally with gamification 
added on as an enabler. Right? So moving forward, we will try to tie in all these sort of different engagement activities uh, with reward points, with experience points, and uh, there will be also prizes up for grab as well. So hopefully to boost their engagement up in the most fun rate.